Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you these couple blocks here in File Manager. This is probably the second to last video that I'll be covering. So what these blocks allow you to do is basically allow you to get and store uh, block states as well as block rotations. So you're able to do a lot of um, technical stuff with these couple things. You can also set variables and basically apply them to the other ones. So we're, I'll just kind of demonstrate quickly how this would work. So you basically apply it like this and then it would basically allow you to bring those variables into a number or string form and then you can basically go ahead and make a procedure system um, that will uh, store the block state or the thing. So let's quickly make a procedure to actually write these files and we'll tweak some of these things. So I want to make sure that the block um, block state that we're actually placing is going to be stored to the variable and then what we want to do is we want to get the rotation as well now we don't necessarily need the rotation if we have the block state itself but in some cases we can always get the uh, rotation it might be useful for some things when you need to store just the rotation not the actual block all right, so I cleaned up the workspace and I just wanted to basically apply these as the variables itself. So this is basically what I'm doing. I'm just storing those two blocks that I showed you before uh, directly to the thing. And then I'm just going to leave these other ones in here. We don't need the subgroups this episode, but um, we will keep them in just in case we need them for a later tutorial. So as far as the reading process goes uh, what we're going to do is clean all this up and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the uh, thing I don't actually think we need these possibly uh, probably not we can probably delete all these and get rid of the print method maybe um, so what I'm gonna want is a rotation I believe and a block state I'm gonna call it uh, my block state and my rotation just so it's uh, not the same name as the actual dependency sometimes you can run into issues that way so we're gonna just get rid of all this um, and we're going to go ahead and bring back the number from the rotation so basically this is how you would do the rotation. You make sure that that part's set up. And then for the block state, you just do the exact same thing. You just get the string of the um, that particular one. So for example, we have a string here and then we just place that in there and then it works like a actual string. It will make more sense later on when we actually demonstrate this in later in the video. Uh, then what we want to do is I'm going to set the block state or the block replace the block with uh, below us that we're basically standing and we're going to set that to the block state that we basically re got from the system now I am using a couple different um, variables one's a right click variable and the other one is a um, basically a chat variable so for the chat variable what I'm doing is I'm getting the text that the player gets. This is a custom dependency that is built into this. And um, I just want to make sure that I am either printing R for rotation or anything else using an else statement. So I'll be separating the code based on these two things. Uh, R will basically do the rotation, set the rotation solely or the anything else, any other character will basically go ahead and replace the um, block for uh, the block state. So again, for the um, final part, we need to set up the uh, rotation or apply the variable. So these are some of the procedures that we have. Uh, one of the things that I did actually run into uh, before, I'll probably make a correction pretty soon, is um, the creation of the file uh, needs to have the some sort of JSON already in it. So like some sort of string. Uh, if it doesn't have that, then you need to 
place it in. So this is basically what I did. I just set a default value for the JSON file and I just applied the rotation to zero and that will give us something to work with at least. And then the other one was the block state. And this is basically should be applied as a regular block. So a string in this case, and we're going to set the block to something like stone or something. We could do error, but I'm not sure how that will affect everything. We'll do uh, stone instead just to kind of give it something. And we'll mo we need to make sure that, that the file was created first and that we're writing to it after. So that should be all the stuff that you need to do in order to get this working. Um, moving in game, uh, what I ended up doing first was basically just cleaning up the workspace, uh, let it generate. I'm pretty sure that I'll kind of show you right now that there is a file folder generating where I'm just going to replace, remove that part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close out of all these tabs here. Uh, yeah, I can redo that later. Um, and clo close out of everything. So we can basically just um, go into Minecraft, start the world up, and then it should generate a new folder. Uh, this is just to make sure that everything is clean for our test and giving that we're using the same directory and everything. It's pretty important to have a clean directory for that. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just open this up with Notepad. And you can kind of see a couple different things going on here. We have the rotation and we have the um, block state, which is a long string of text. Uh, I discovered this while basically printing out um, the block state variable. And I noticed that there was a lot of data actually stored to it. So you could actually do a lot with this. And uh, for example, if we grab um, stairs here, wooden stairs, uh, we can actually right click on that block and then go ahead and type R and then we can set the rotation to that block there. So that will allow us to get the rotation and rotate it based on that rotation. Uh, we can also type like something like D and it will replace the block completely. So you can kind of see that um, that is the same rotation. Now that's important because um, later on what I'm going to be basically showing is uh, that the block state actually stores rotation as well in some cases. So for example, uh, we can set the basic block that we want to set the rotation for. Now every block theoretically has a rotation, but uh, some don't actually store it. So it reverts to the default state. So for example, the cobblestone, I right clicked on that. And I'm standing over here and I'm just gonna set R. And then you can see that the default state for the cobblestone is basically facing this direction. So we can also do the block state and replace it completely. All right, so I think that's about it for that. Um, as you can kind of see though, with the right click part, there are some features in here. Uh, for example, if we right click on that again and then we go ahead and grab something like uh, cobblestone stairs, we'll just, it's just an example. So we're going to keep the rotation here. We're going to apply the block state. We're just going to go ahead and type A. You can see that it focuses the rotation and the block based on the block state. So theoretically, um, if you want just the rotation, you need just the rotation part for the block, uh, the top one where the rotation number, but block states also have the rotation, which is this part right in here. So just keep that in mind when you're actually setting your blocks uh, because they will store the block state as well. But uh, it's still really handy when you need to make sure that things are actually cloned and stuff like that. And you can do a whole list of things to actually store all this stuff. I've created um, custom structure files to um, things that I could actually clone and paste and stuff. But outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.